Good afternoon and welcome back to Farming with Faith channel. Chaney Farms, Chaney Farms Estivation Well. As you can see, I'm back in a hoodie. Uh, cause I, I will not be told. Anyway, so thank you to all who have you liked and subscribed to my channel thus far. Stay tuned for more. And yes, I realize that I've been, but I've been busy. As in, I've been busy doing, I'm gonna give you a, so, Welter Farms entitled the video, The Fleet Awakens. That sounds awesome. That sounds like the force is with you. Nevertheless, so I'm, I thought I'd do this right here. So, as you can see, there is a tractor and whoop, what is that? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The last couple days I have been doing over the sprayer because we had a pretty good rain dotho here yet last night, yesterday and last night. And it's pretty well, it's pretty today. The wind's blowing, which means it's drying out. So here I'm gonna do it the initial burn down herbicide tomorrow for farm I have rented down the road, which uh, which now I have to go a long way around to get to because they're doing a road closure right down here starting tomorrow for the next month and I'm like now y'all decide to do it but nevertheless it is what it is so <clears throat> so yeah with that being said um, and yes ladies and gentlemen it's time to do this because I'm going to go down there and spray it possibly Tuesday. Time to dry out. And because two weeks from Tuesday, from this upcoming Tuesday, I could actually go back down there and plant. Because if you see behind me, I don't know if you can tell or not, a wise old man once told me, do not plant until the hills, hills are green. Well, I don't know if you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, they're greening up. So anyway, so yeah, I've been work, dealing with this. I uh, we had a um, this prayer was built by a guy who dad bought the first combine off of the combine who hydrostat went out, and I upgraded to the other combine sitting in the barn. Same thing, half as many hours. Nevertheless, so this guy he built this thing, and. It works good. Sprays 30 foot at a time. It works good. 500 gallon tank. And this is the first time, let's see, Dad bought it in 2009, 10. Yeah, this is it. And he died in 15, early spring of 15. So I've used it for by myself since 2015. So um, I had a few little pieces of odds and ends. I had this right here as a garden hose and I, it was just crinkling it. It was just bending it, too much pressure on it. So I replaced it and I replaced this adapter right here. Um, I, I, this is a brand new adapter. I replaced the old, old one with. And um, I have the other valve that goes right here and goes out to that in the tractor tab and I just um I don't know if it was that little adapter leaking or the valve itself leaking but here's my only problem with this sprayer you cannot find replacement parts for this so so and tractor supply God love them they wanted this is a half inch diameter hose can you see that? They wanted 50, that you couldn't buy, just, I only needed, as you can see, less than a foot. Well, you can't buy a foot. You gotta buy 50 foot. You gotta buy a whole entire roll. I was like, I can't do that. So anyway, oh, I was gonna put you right there, but nevertheless, that ain't gonna work. So anyway, so, I got a sprayer hose. I got a whole roll of this for like $12. Yeah, simple fix. A whole lot stouter than the garden hose. So anyway, so I replaced this. I replaced the old one with this. 
wrapped it in plumber's tape. And then this valve right here, that goes right here, I have one that goes from here to, to next to that. Um, you cannot find them. So what I did was I went and I, like I said, I didn't know if it was an adapter or the valve leaking, so I replaced the adapter, wrapped it in thread tape, which I'll wrap that, that other end in thread tape tomorrow afternoon when I go to put this valve back on. I covered this valve in JB Weld. It's tasked. Um, it works for plumbing and marine, um, like sailing ships. And so I was like, well, what have I got to lose? I can't find a replacement. Um, they don't sell them. They sell, they sell different pieces that snap in, screw in, um, snap in, but don't, they don't sell valves that screw in. So, and as you can see, that's what I need. So, I just got done JB welding that valve. So, I'm going to let it set up. It's, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's in the floorboard of the tractor there, covered. Anyway, oh, you remember, because you remember my motto, overkill is underrated. So, anyway, so I'm going to let that dry the rest of the day today and tonight and put it on. Winter wheat is growing taller.